Hi, Rainy here with Why Am I Green? In today's video, I want to show you a great way of how to grow your tomatoes tall. Tall and healthy rather than big and bushy. I mean, they're still healthy when they're bushy, but you gotta bend down and get in there. And as you can see with my garden, the tomatoes are starting to grow. So we want them to get really tall, and that's why I built this scaffolding. So we're gonna have the, we have the strings going down, but how do you connect them to the strings? And what do you do to the tomatoes to get them to grow tall rather than out? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so if you look at the scaffolding I built here, at the top I have eye rings going connected to the string, and the string goes all the way down to the tomatoes. Now you can see I hooked up the tomatoes on pretty much all the other ones and I have some more rings to be able to hook up the string beans. But let me show you what I'm doing down here. So let's bring this down so you can see this tomato really well. So there's a couple ways of doing this. One way is to take your twine, I would tie it down here and I would just wrap it around as it's growing and keeping it tight okay so it would be kind of like this here but there's an easier way to do it that i'm going to show you today and it's using these tomato clips and they're pretty nifty you just take them and fold them like that and clip them right in there and this is where the string would go right in here so let me show you how we would do this okay so i measure okay that's already tied up at the top I go down here, I would put that right in the middle, okay, and just snip it on. That simple. Now you notice I left it loose here. I left it loose because this is going to be swaying with the wind and I don't want to break the branches, okay. Then what I, what I do is, not to, on a lot of them, but every once in a while, especially when the plant gets heavy, I put one underneath a few branches. Now another reason to give this play, okay, is these branches, as they grow, are going to start bending down. Just like these are down further, they're going to start bending way down, and you're going to want to give them room to be able to do that. And I could probably put another one right here. Now, one of the main reasons we do this is I'm doing this so the tomato, of course, will grow tall. I, that's why this thing has been built seven feet tall so these tomatoes are going to come all the way up and if not all the way pretty close to it but the way to get them to grow tall is to get rid of the sucker branches see like this one right here going between is I just snap that one right off and get rid of it down here the reason being these sucker branches are going to grow into their own branch and they're going to grow large and they're going to have fruit on them as well so the bush is going to grow out that way and that's what i'm trying to prevent is having this big mess so rather than having the branches grow out the plant the strength instead of going in those is going to go in the main stem and it's going to grow taller so be careful not to snip off the one at the top because you don't want to lose your main branch so you don't have to snip off all of them, but you want to be careful that they don't get too big, okay? So you can see going up there, I pretty much got rid of the ones that I need to get rid of right now. Oops, there's one, one more right here, a big one. Yeah, so now the plant's going to grow taller rather than uh, go everywhere. Now that I got that one snipped off, I think I might even put another one right here. I can take this, put it in the hole. Oops. And you can see how that's holding the string right there. All right. Another way to do it is to, if you had a stick, you can, instead of connecting it to string, you can connect it to a stick. Uh, you can see like the sticks that I have way, well I'll show you in a minute, the sticks that I have holding up my peas. You can do it to that or, you know, anything even like this here if you like. But this is a, a metal stick. But you can do it with a stick if you want. The problem with the stick is when you put this on, there's nothing to snap it to, to connect it to here. So you're going to probably want to put the whole thing together, but the branch will hold it down. Now coming over here to this larger tomato plant, you can see what I mean about 
how the branches actually point down after a while that one's going down and see down the bottom they all seem to be pointing downward that's why I put the clip underneath so there's room see way down there there's another clip oops right there so that's gonna keep them growing up tall now the sticks I was talking about these kind of sticks here just stick a stick like this here this is the little bamboo stick I get at Walmart right into the soil and you can clamp just like I did around here see with the peas I got that clamped right around the pea plant and the branch so if you don't want to use strings you can do that another option for you you can see I've done all these here with the strings as well and eventually what I'm going to do looking up here at the scaffolding I have a few more eyelets as you can see one here here and here and I'm going to tie strings down 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 so they can go to my string beans and those are going to start growing up but they're still a little small for that when they start getting bigger and start slooping a little bit or slooping or drooping that's when I'm going to do those as you can see in the middle of these pools I have string beans and each one, that big thing in the middle is a sunflower, by the way. The string beans and my corn on the cob in the middle. Can you see my corn? One solitary corn makes it through. So that's it on how to hold your tomatoes so they'll grow straight and tall rather than wide and bushy. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, if you're not growing, you're not green. Bye-bye now.